What's going on, retail gang? Thanks for stopping by the channel. Here we go again. Hopefully you're not getting too tired of seeing these, but uh, just a little bit of entertainment for everybody. I mean, these are pretty quick rips, a few minutes long. Hopefully you guys can uh, hang with me for that long. There's the tab here. Still getting a few of these in here locally at my stores. My Target had quite a few. Start with this 87 Lodolo. Walmart's still getting a handful in. So we're going to keep buying them and keep ripping them until I see something better I want. Eventually I'll get some uh, Stadium Club maybe. Maybe some Heritage. Get through these horizontal cards here. Not really a lot going on. There's a Jeremy Pena. CJ Abrams. Another Pena. So we're doing alright as far as uh, these base rookies go. I haven't got a nice good parallel in a while. Nice. It would have been nice to get an auto. Steven Kwan. Kwanzilla. Alec Thomas. Seiya Suzuki. Mats Brash. Royce Lewis. Nasty Nestor. Coming into what was the middle of this hanger. We got a Justin Verlander at a 299. So I was talking about not getting a decent parallel in a while. Here is a green. Oh, it's not a green. It is the uh, All Star game. So maybe the greens are. And the greens numbered to 4 299. I can't remember. Anyway, faked me out there, but uh, kind of forgot you could get these in a parallel. Probably not a lot of value there, but a decent hit nonetheless as far as difficulty. Not bad. We'll uh, put him right there. Only have a few cards left to go. We got a blue retail exclusive Josh Donaldson, Matt Chapman, Brandon Crawford. Bobby Witt Jr., Jaron Duran, and we got a base black gold of Spencer Torkelson. This is probably one of my favorite designs, these black gold inserts. I think I have this card already, but it's all right. Nothing wrong with another one. We'll sleeve it up just because I like them that much. This is probably my favorite card of the box. I mean, as far as difficulty to hit, the, the Verlander is probably a, a better a better card. But looks-wise, I really like this card. Torkelson didn't have a great year, but uh, number one overall draft pick, so he should bounce back, hopefully. Anyway, that's going to wrap it up for today's video, y'all. Appreciate y'all stopping by. Good luck out there. And we'll catch you on the next one.